Hi everyone, it's Carly Walker from Child's Pose Yoga. This is my daughter, Harper. Today we're going to do a video where we're gonna do partner poses. So grab a sibling, a friend, and we're gonna show you some fun poses you can do together. But what we always do when we start yoga is to take some deep breaths, okay? So I want you guys to think if you walked into a room, what's a delicious smell? Like cookies? Like cookies baking, right? So take a seat, hands on your knees, big breath in, so you smell something delicious. And then blow out your birthday candles. You can blow out bubbles. And whenever you're feeling sad or mad or frustrated, I want you guys to think about this. Breathe in, take a big breath in. You're smelling those cookies. And then Harper, I'll have you blow bubbles. Good, let's do it one more time. We'll do it together, guys. Big breath in, blow the bubbles. Nice job. So whenever you're feeling any kind of big emotion, stop and take those breaths. Okay, let's have some fun and do some partner yoga. Okay, Harper, let's start standing up. We're gonna do tree pose. So tree pose is all about balance. So it can look however you want it to look. Your toe can go here, it can go on your lower leg, or it can come all the way on your upper leg. The good news is if you have a partner, you can lean on them a bit. I'll step away a little bit. So you've gotta be super stable for your partner, okay? So we just made a forest, right? So should we try to lift up, Harper? Oh, good. So you have to be super stable. So get that belly in as if I were gonna poke you, you'd wanna have a nice firm belly, right? All right, let's switch sides. So remember, toe down on their calf or all the way up. Harper went with, the, oh, you went, good, well, on the calf. I like that choice. No, that was good. Good, so we're holding our tree pose. Here's another way of doing it. We'll face each other. Tree pose. Good. <laughs> you can always get the gigglies. Other side. Remember, if you do one side, you have to do the other. Now, balancing on our feet is so important because we're walking on our feet every day. It prevents injuries, and it just makes your feet super strong, and that helps your whole body. Okay, let's take a seat. So we're gonna do something called crab pose. So let's come into crab pose. So hands go behind our back, feet flat on the floor, lift your belly up. All right, so now we're gonna give each other a high five, gently, and if you're with your sibling, make sure you're being gentle, good. Do it again, good, maybe we'll try lifting. Can we do one arm, one leg? <laughs> let's do the other side, one arm, one leg. And you guys can do this by yourself too, right? You don't have to have a partner either, okay. Keep facing me. Okay, so let's do boat pose. Here we go. So we're gonna lean back. So we're using those belly muscles, which is really important. We're gonna put our feet together. Now boat pose, we get them on the outside. We got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> so there's boat pose. There we go, good job. So there we are in boat. Stick your chest out, helps you breathe a little bit better, good. Now we're gonna come into flower. So we have to do that again, but this is a little bit easier because our hands are together. Let's meet up here, one foot. <laughs> the next one, we did it! Flower pose, good job. Okay, oh, good job. Okay, oh, stay there. Next, we're gonna continue facing each other. So these partner poses really work on our bellies, right? So, because we're having to lean back and support ourselves. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move this a tiny bit. So we're gonna take a ball, you take it. You're gonna pass it to me first. Yeah, with your feet. Good. I'm going to roll back, plow pose. I'm going to come forward. And I'm trying to balance and do it to Harper. Now you plow pose. And then come forward. Good. So do this a few times, guys. As many times as you want, right? Boop. There you go. Good job. All right. Nice. Okay. So one thing we always do at child's pose is, oh wait, no, I forgot. We were gonna do L dog, but let's do Hershey kiss. So um, we're gonna turn our back to each other, but not put our backs together. And we're both gonna lay down. So we have to find each other's head. So I'm gonna scoot this way. Okay, so what we did with the ball was called plow pose. And we're gonna do that now and our feet are gonna meet, meet at the top. Here we go, where's your feet? Good. So this is called Hershey kiss. We should look sort of like a Hershey kiss. Good job, stay, stay, stay. So you're holding your plow pose, it's so good. I'm gonna come on the outside and squeeze you. Boop, good. Now you could do this with as many people as you want and make it like a 3D Hershey kiss. Okay, what I was saying before was, 
when we do yoga, a lot of times we do L dog against the wall, basically going upside down. We're gonna do that together and I'm gonna put my feet on Harper. So even if you're a lot bigger than a person, they can still support you. You just have to have a strong um, downward dog. Okay, so we're gonna stand up. So here's how it starts. We go back to back, okay. Communicate with your partner and say, I'm putting my legs on you, got it? Okay, and then you can switch. Come into downward dog. All right, so yes, yeah, stay right there, Harper. So you're both in a downward dog. I'm gonna walk out a tiny bit. Okay, Harper, here they come, here come my legs. So I'm gonna put one leg on Harper and I'm making sure that I'm supporting myself and then I'll put my next leg. Yes, how's it feel? Not too hard, right? Okay, and then let's switch. So now Harper, you put your feet on me. Good, Can you? <laughs> good job. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, I have to be super strong in my downward dog to support Harper. Good, and come on down. Nice job. And then you can always give a high five, right? Okay. So in the beginning, we did crab pose where we gave each other a high five. Are you ready for bunk bed? Okay. So maybe you want an adult to watch you do this or make sure you're on a carpet or something soft. Okay, so basically what we're doing is this pose on each other. So Harper's gonna step over me, hand on each of my shoulders, and then one foot on each knee. Belly up, Harper, belly up, you got it, belly up. Good job, hold it, hold it. Make sure you're super strong if you're on the bottom. And then come on down. <laughs> really good. Okay, that was a lot of work, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you one other pose. Now, it's a double plank pose. You ready for this one? Okay, so basically plank pose looks like this, right? So plank pose is like this. I'll show you from this view or like this, okay? So my abs are super engaged. My shoulders are right over my wrists and we're like this. So Harper, you're gonna do that on me, okay? So I'm gonna lay down. Harper's gonna grab my ankles or she can put her hands on the floor, either one. My arms come up. And then she gives me each of her ankles. Good. <laughs> Good job. Are your abs, you feel them? Sure. Good. Now getting out of this pose, put their legs there. Good job, Herbs. Okay. So we have one more pose to do. Um, that feels really good and I encourage you to switch. So both of you are on the bottom and both of you are on the top. So just make sure you switch. Um, we're gonna do lizard on a rock, okay? So I'm gonna come into child's pose and Harper um, can lay on, she's gonna sit on my back and then lay down. So it feels really good to me in child's pose and Harper gets a heart opener. So your partner can always sit on something behind you or I'm actually gonna turn this way or they can sit on your back. So. I don't know, Harper, I'll have you sit on the block. Uh, my knees are together, my feet are together, my forehead goes to the floor, my arms are at my side, and we're breathing. So Harper gets a really good heart opener, and she's pushing me further into child's pose. It feels really good. All right, Harper, are you ready to come up? All right, and then you guys can switch. Actually, I'll, I'll go on you now, because you can see that you can support someone who's a lot bigger than you. So I'll sit on the block. And then, there we go. So your, your legs can be in crisscross like that. And I just spread open my arms and it feels really good to my heart. Good job. And then we'll come back up. And those are all poses that are really good for you, that make you really strong, and they're really fun to practice. Thank you for playing yoga with us today. And if you like this video, please subscribe. and.